Good morning, guys. Happy Monday morning motivation. This morning, I am thinking about one of my earliest horseback riding experiences. See, my grandfather was a mounted patrolman in Arizona, and he had a very smart horse. And this horse was so smart that she would not put up with an inexperienced rider. So anytime there was a rider involved that she had not had experience with before, the first thing she would do is buck that rider right off. If that rider stayed off, she wins. And if the rider got back on and kept their seat, she would respect them and it would be a fine day. Well, being very young, and as most little girls are, quite in love with the idea of horses, I wanted to ride Fancy Lady. And my grandfather obliged, saddled her up, gave me fair warning, and put me on her. And sure enough, she bucked me right off. But he would not let me call it a day. He said, you get back, back on that horse, she'll respect you, and then we'll have a good day. And sure enough, that's what happened. Once I took control of those reins, even as a small child, that horse respected me. So I'm thinking about this right now because of emotions. Emotions tend to be something that we either have or they have us. And there's no two ways about it. Either we have emotions or emotions have us. So the thing is, is even Jesus had emotions. Jesus wept. Jesus rejoiced. Jesus had zealous anger. Zealous, Jesus had deep love. Jesus expressed a wide range of emotions. But the key is, is emotions did not have Jesus. Jesus had emotions. And so today, I want to encourage you to, like Jesus, take hold of those reins. You can have emotions. Emotions are not sinful, but you cannot let emotions have you. Don't let that horse buck you off. Take control of those reins and you show them which way to go. You choose which way to feel. You choose which way to react. You choose your emotions. All right. I love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.